What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And today, we, hey, it's like this. You thought I, you thought we was done with the Benzino? Shoot. You thought we were done with Benzino? Nah. We got a Stan response to Benzino. Eminem this response. And this is from DK Rap Artists. I'm guessing, and I've heard the name before many a times and such. And hey, Bertha can spit. I know that for a fact. Man can rap his ass up. And he's from the UK, so hey, you already know. Shout out to the UK out there and then. But look, I just see that, I just saw from like Knox Hill reaction that Benzino responded. Well, in a way, I saw like the thumbnail and such, but not actually the video. But who knows? It's basically like this. I saw the video, right? I saw it. I saw his response to Benzino responding to his diss track. And it's like this. If y'all want me to, I can do a reaction on my own to that thing. But hey, the fact that I didn't even know that this one came about too, and this was from like a week ago or so, from like February 5th, hey. My bad, DK. I didn't know you dropped one too. So, because it's basically like this at the end of the day, once Benzino comes for one reactor from Cliff Beats, he can come for a whole bunch of us. So, the fact that Knox Hill did his, and then now DK, hey, I gotta react, I gotta listen, I gotta show support to the React community because I'm a reactor myself. So, we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a ghost fire. Who are you gonna call? Hmm. The Ghostbuster hmm. MB. Hmm. Nice little flip on the who you gonna call the Ghostbusters thing right there okay nice little flip right there already already into a bari and such who are you gonna call the ghostbuster ghostbuster nba was a white thing and aren't you glad we made it different you wouldn't have the ballers at the jordan to uplift to shake the culture made a living you mm. saying i mean prevalent your beef of eminem is the only thing that keeps you relevant how are you the and A, it's basically like this, that whole entire angle about the black and white thing. So the fact that he went into something that isn't even, the first thing he even got up with was the basketball thing. Because right here where he says NBA was a white thing and aren't you glad we made it different? Glad we made it different. Hey. You wouldn't have the ballers at the Jordan to uplift to shake the culture made a living. You saying I make prevalent your beef of them and them is the only thing that keeps you relevant. How are you the culture when the mm -hmm. culture doesn't like you? I ain't like you. Facts. <laughs> like nigga, how you going like people like how he gonna the fact that, that he doesn't even realize that yet. The fact that he doesn't even realize that yet. That nigga. How you gonna claim about, about the culture and such when nigga people like Joe Button, Eminem of course, and even the reaction community don't even like you, like bro, or in general just hip hop in general don't even like you, like bro. The fact that he hasn't got that through his head yet is crazy. Prevalent, it be for that he MMC still thinks that he's part of the culture. How would you the culture when the culture doesn't like you? I ain't like you. I think when the culture the doesn't like you. The internet despises you. So when I recite the right, he does. Spitting on the mic, the right, it just despite you on the mic. You claim that he's a vulture, you're a joke. Mm. How would you the culture when you broke? First off, mm. I fed so did, and second, nothing you said. There's rumors you was in the hotel, give it some head. Mm. You ain't seen him in town, you ain't seen him out, and put the D on the map, you put the D in your mouth. Mmm. And put the D on the map, you put the D in your mouth. First of all, no freaky, but also, because Eminem's from Detroit and such. Hey. That's cr But look. Benzino, I don't care. And look, he may not even see me. 
and look I may be a small channel but look saying if my channel was big and somehow if he comes to my channel like nigga what you gonna hear what it is but bro it's and it's crazy you know what's the craziest thing is he talking about how he hasn't put on for his city how Eminem don't put on for the D for Detroit nigga you from Boston right so how the hell have you for so for many of your career so for the many years in your career why haven't you put up for your city right I'm just saying hmm? and mind you like mind y'all y'all humble squad mind y'all I have never in the in all my years which is 23 in all my young years of from even from when I'm from in Jamaica, when I was born and raised in Jamaica, you always know hip hop is gonna be there in Jamaica too. But for all my years of listening to all types of music from hip hop, from my my dance hall, of course, my Jamaican music, rock music, and whatever, right? I have never, or just in general for hip hop. Let me just stay in this. I have never once heard nobody talking about Benzino. Putting on for his city or whatnot, or hear no Benzino songs. So, my nigga, the fact that you saying about how M don't put put on for his city, we never once heard about your damn ass. So, it is what. Right, it's just a spot you wanna mic you. Claim the ease of vote to your joke. How are you the culture when you broke? First off, I spent so did and second nothing you said. There's rumors you was Bro. in the hotel, give it some head. You ain't seen him in town, mm. you ain't seeking him out and put the some D head. in the map. You put the D in your mouth, and it's platinum status. D you don't need the map. Put the you in your mouth. Money. You need to figure it out. Them big gun and not with X. Mmm. The money figure. You need to figure it out. The figure, like, figure your problems out. And yeah, it's crazy that M is the fact that he's saying about how M is going after his daughter and such nigga. M is clout status. Eminem is platinum, like he just said. Eminem is platinum status. What the fuck he needs you to go clout for it, Benzino? The fuck? And still to this day, twenty plus years later, he's talking about how those the like the 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 nail in the coffin and the the sauce. The fact that those two distracts, he still to this day thinks like he didn't affect him. Nigga, Eminem is still relevant to this day. You're only relevant for 15 minutes or so. You're only relevant for this situation right now. And plus your daughter. So the fact that your daughter is more relev relevant than you, and put the D that's in crazy. You put the D in your mouth, and it's platinum status. He don't need you for clout. You need your daughter for money. You need mm. to figure it out. And be gun an opportunity, Benny, you're an opportunity. You need to figure it out. Mm. Voice an opportunity. Everybody left. Mm. I'm just keeping it real. Mm. If they sound with Diddy, they would still be stuck in the deal. And he don't. Mm. I mean, a. Hey. For many, and if you known about the history with Diddy and the artists that he signs, nine times out of ten, you think they're finna get, it's basically like this. Why you think Diddy was rich for so many years? And in a way, the artists who were signed to Diddy, you know, even though they were rich, let's be honest. You can, t from just a normal person like myself, right? You can tell the levels of status of certain celebrities to others since you can tell the different levels of status from celebrities because before this whole thing with Diddy because now that nigga is not but before but before we even heard about these things let's be honest Diddy was this like big billionaire status right so you can say ish but what about the artists that he was signed to and such the likes of Tupac Biggie and shit like even though Biggie was big, let's be honest. The fact that even Diddy got big off of that shit, crazy. But yeah, but yeah, just knowing that if anyhow you were to sign, if anyhow you were to sign to Diddy, you ain't gonna be no. 
you will be successful but not to the level of like a diddy or jay-z or whatnot so i'm just saying for money you need to figure it out and give gun an opportunity benny an opportunity con an opportunity yeah. voice an opportunity money. everybody left i'm just keeping it real if they sound with diddy they would still be stuck in the deal <laughs> and he don't support battle rap way battle marv one on the gate mile dvd Thanks. smart son gave marv a shout out battle rap a shout mm. out well let's not forget the total slaughter shit that he mm. done Everybody dissed him. Imagine if he dissed back. Imagine. Every single song he made would have to be a diss track. Mm. There's levels in his leagues, fam. Like Milk Bone, the last Emperor dissed him. Who the fuck are these, man? Next. You look like a hamster when he's packed. <laughs> yeah, who the hell are those two? There's levels and there's leagues. Because look, and it's like this. I know most people want to question Eminem. Eminem's like. Cause granted, man knows his best. Don't, don't, don't. One thing is for damn sure with Eminem, you is not finna tell this man he don't know the culture. You ain't finna tell him that, and damn well you ain't gonna tell the stands that too. Even the most, even some of the, st even though some of the stands are toxic as hell, cause they can't know when a bad Eminem song is. But it's like this: I'm a casual Eminem fan. I ain't no stand or anything. I can know when something is good from when something is bad. I can tell when I rock with an Eminem song and when I don't rock with an Eminem song. And sorry if you hear any motorcycles out there. But one thing's for damn sure, you know it's not funny to tell Eminem he ain't the he ain't for the culture. And he don't know battle rap. Well you crazy if you ever think he don't know battle rap. But yeah, but the fact that but when it comes to his like rap battles or so who who he's trying to diss. Granted, I ain't gonna lie, the likes of when it's only like singers like Christina Aguilera, Mariah Carey, and comedians too like Nick Cannon and such, I ain't gonna lie, it's questionable. I mean, hell, even with MGK, to me, I feel like the most respectable ones he's gone to were MGK, in a way, a little shots at the game, and that Melly Mel. <laughs> That's how I look at it. But at the end of the day, in all those rap battles you've seen, have you ever one time heard that he needed help from somebody to write his this? Nah. Let's not forget the total sort of shit that he done. Everybody dissed him. Imagine if he dissed back. Every single song he made would have to be a diss track. There's levels in his league. Slaughterhouse. Like Milk Bone, the last Emperor dissed him. Who the fuck are these, man? You look like a hamster when he's packing his cheeks. Who is your buddy in the hotel clapping your cheeks? Man, you're rapping his week. So we know you had a ghost rider. Hey, yo. You proved to get him hot headed like the ghost rider. Keep saying he invented. Hmm. Ooh. Mention proof to get him hot headed like the ghost rider and such. Nice little flip on the ghost rider and such. Hmm. Come on now. See what I mean? This nigga can rap. Shout out to the UK, man. But yeah, let's let's be honest. We knew for a fact as soon as when rap Elvis came out. Like I said, we know them were. That's what we, we were all saying that it was good, but it was too good to be sounding from Benzino. So we know he had to have a ghost rider. Every single chance he get, he uses it to give to listen to his rock and roll hall of fame list. Let me one other rapper that be doing that shit. They bluff. Apparently the man Eminem keeps us divided. The only reason he be getting hate is because he's white and we hate your double standards and your racism is bullshit. You've been shot before so you can take my shots because what's a bullet, huh? Facts. Plus you be taking shots in the hotel too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ghostbuster. Damn, DK. Ghost fighter. Hmm. Who you gonna call? The Ghostbuster. Yeah. Who you gonna call? The Ghostbuster. Hmm. Yeah. Shout out to DK. Hey, shout out to him, man. He did his thing. But hey, man, it's like this. At the end of the day, Benzino, I don't care what you think you're doing. You may think it's best like this. 
Benzema, Benzema, I can't even say your name right, nigga. It's basically like this, nigga. You may think that you, this big legend or whatnot, nigga. Nah, you not. You really not. Because ain't no way, like you just said, ain't no way you broke. And nobody knows who, and the culture. And you talk so much about the culture when the culture don't even like you. But hey, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Sorry that I'm late to it and such, but hey, what what's that saying goes? It's better late than never. And look, if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below, Ghostbuster. <laughs> and that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.